what made me get into business with Kevin was, you know, we, we had a really good idea. You know, we were sitting on the couch bullshitting one day and, and we pretty much came up with this idea to make sunglasses out of skateboard and we just never stopped. We just kept making the product. I never really thought about doing it like this to make money. Like at first I thought it was an awesome idea. Maybe like, you know, be an artist, whatever, you know. And then like my aunt came up with the name and then I was like, oh, it's on. Like we're doing a company. And then I called him and we started working at my dad's house like pretty much every day for like weeks, you know. And then we got like a couple pairs. I took the last of my money. Uh, paid rent at Dave's Ramp, which is where we're gonna go skate later, and uh, that was the start of it. You know, I mean, that's where it became a business. We felt like we come up with a good idea, good enough to uh, sell, and you know, I think it kind of sells itself. Uh, Dexpex was the originator of skateboarding sunglasses. We're the first people to do it. Like when we started, you could look on the internet and it didn't exist, and now they're basically the same thing that we do is coming out of factories in China but you know it's it's nice to be the like the Gucci or the Louis Vuitton of something still made in America skate owned skate operated basically you know everything that we procure you know I mean from all the skateboards and stuff like that is all local homies it's literally mainly everyone in Atlanta that's skateboards you know it's it's almost self-sufficient we're actually repurposing old skateboards, so it's cool. You know, I used to have a mountain of them in my house when I was a kid, and now something can happen with that mountain of trash. We get the boards from, you know, what we rode and what our homies rode, and that alone cuts out a lot of costs for uh, trying to make a product. So it's there, you know, the boards are there. Yeah, free material, you know what I mean? And so now there's glasses. The step by step, I guess, breaking it down, like how glasses are made, is it gets degripped, which is right there behind you. Um, it goes to the CNC, gets cut out by a machine, and then it gets planed down, which is like kind of just like, you know, making it the right thickness with the earpieces and the frames. So the frames come out of the tails of the board, which creates a concave like this, because the tails, you know, are obviously like this, and then the concave in the middle of the board. You know, it's like that, so that's the frame. And it kind of just worked out to the point where that's what the whole idea was. It, we saw like a natural bend in the wood that was able to fit your face, you know, without doing anything already to it, you know? And all you need to do is just hand sand it, you know? There's a lot more involved in it, you know, like painting and assembly and a lot of other stuff that people do that, you know, doesn't really get seen. And I got to see my friend come up with some awesome ideas, take my skateboard and turn them into sunglasses. I can wear those sunglasses. Now everyone's stoked on them. Everyone wants to wear them. They progress from not being able to barely put them together to laser engraving whatever you want on the side to it's a nice product. The fact that the company's um, sprouted from a hobby, a pastime of both of ours, and you can actually make money out of your hobby, which was, at first, uh, it would be, as a kid, I thought, you know, to skateboard professionally, but to have something sprout out of uh, Skateboarding, which isn't, you know, being the Actually dude. Actually, skateboarding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Deck specs has progressed like beyond everything, anything that I can ever dream of. You know, I mean, I got pretty much, you know, there's football stars, <laughs> Lil Wayne, Andre 3000 came by one day, and uh, John Abraham. Legends of skateboarding pretty much all own deck specs at this point. I mean, so many people are hyped on it. You know, it's just. I kind of sit back and I'm like laughing at it, like I can't believe it, you know what I mean? Like that these people are actually hyped on something that we make in a warehouse with a bunch of kids that skateboard every day and don't give a shit about, you know, <laughs> a lot of things, you know? So it's, it's pretty cool to see how, how many different types of people actually like are intrigued and they want to know more about it and all that stuff. It's just, yeah, it's, it's pretty much never ending. Where do I see the company in 10 years? Um, I'm thinking martinis on a yacht decked in skateboards. I don't know, that's what I'm hoping for. Oh, yeah. <laughs>